So what's cyanotype? Cyanotype is these two chemicals that when mixed together become light sensitive. Usually it's used to make flower prints by using it to make photos. Here I am taking a piece of paper and cutting it to fit my camera body. I'm using our 100 year old box brownie camera. Now I'm taking the cyanotype chemistry and I'm coating the paper with it. I now need to let the cyanotype dry for a bit. So I'm covering it and coming back in 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I take the piece of paper out, I get a bit of tape, and I'm just gonna secure the coated paper in the back of my camera with a piece of tape. And I'm gonna close the camera up. Now we're ready to take a photograph. I'm just gonna find a subject, I'm gonna use this window, and I'm gonna set up my camera, and I'm going to open the shutter. I'm going to leave this camera here and come back in about four hours. After four hours, the photograph is done. I'm going to close the shutter, take my camera out, and I'm going to go see what I've made. This is the result from the camera, and this is the result after I've inverted it in Photoshop. It doesn't look great, but Sanotype has a lot of potential. Here's some examples of pictures I've made using this method and using the current kit I have. Here's some examples of what cyanotype can do. You can get very close to the quality of black and white film. These are all made using quite high-end, rare, old-fashioned cameras that are quite hard to come by. So why should you make cyanotype photographs? First of all, it's really cheap. About 10 times cheaper than taking an image with black and white. Although it has a long exposure time, you don't need to send it off to a lab. You get the results on the same day. It's also very sustainable. Black and white film is made from a cocktail of toxic chemicals, whereas cyanotype is made from a chemical that's used in iron brew, and then another chemical which is only a mild irritant. So what's my product going to be? I want to make a camera that's really good at making cyanotype photographs. You can make cyanotype photographs with existing cameras, but they fall into a few categories. They're either very expensive and very rare, or they're very old and falling apart, and they're just simply hard to find. Other than that, there just isn't a camera that exists that will take paper instead of film. So what does my product need to do? It needs to be a camera. There'll be a few technical things it needs to do, but most notably, it needs to have a large aperture so I can get as much light in as possible. It's going to offer a way to load in paper instead of film, and I'm going to offer alongside it a way to get the chemistry onto the paper. Who's my product for? This is Jimmy. He's a pupil at Drumbrookie High School, and he goes to science class in the morning. He gets a lesson from his teacher about how cameras work and how light works. Then at the end of the class, he goes and sets up a camera and leaves it off, and he goes off to his other classes. In the afternoon, he goes to art class, and in art class, they take down the camera, and he retrieves his photo. And then when all his class get their photos together, they make an exhibition, and they have made some cyanotype photographs. This is Johnny, he's your standard hipster. Johnny likes to take photos with a 35mm disposable camera. He likes using this because you can get some really cool effects with analog film. He wants to look at other cameras and other ways to make analog photos, but he doesn't really know where to start and they're all quite expensive. So he picks up the cyanotype camera, he sets up a, up a camera and takes some photos and he's off and he's making some cool pictures. This is Jenny, she's a pro photographer. Jenny means business. She's been in the biz for a while. She's got a distinct workflow. She's got all the kit you can think of. And she's really open to trying out new methods and new ways to take photographs. So Jenny picks up the Cyanotype camera and she starts using it in some photo shoots. How's prototyping going? I've made a prototype. This is Lady Cyana. It's a lens with a 3D printed body and a piece of tracing paper at the back, making it act as a camera obscura you'll see that whatever it's pointed in front of, it makes an image of it, but upside down on the tracing paper. I've tried to use this as a camera by putting cyanotype in the back of it, but I've had not the best results. So it's going well, but I've got a lot of work to do.